A stunning win for Sheffield United down at the league leaders, leaving Craven Cottage with all three points. One goal enough to do it for them, and what a goal from Illiman and Jai Rob Kosluck and Kevin Gage. I've been watching the game closely tonight. Kevin, let's start with you. you got your breath back? Stunning. <laughs> Just about, yeah. My heart was in my mouth at the end there when he hit the, hit the post and then blazed it over the bar. But, I mean, what a result. I mean, from, out, from my point of view, I'm, I'm happy to say that Fulham was so disappointing, I thought. Now, whether that, that was because they had an off night or whether it was because we were so good defensively and, and you know, our midfield shape and the, the two lads up front worked so hard, we hardly gave them a, a, a sniff of goal. You know, they, they, were, they were just throwing crosses in, hopefully at the end, and not really creating anything. And we just looked solid and secure. I think that's another clean sheet. You know, we seem to be getting quite good at them. So, I mean, it's really looking good for us at the moment. They obviously had a plan, Rob, and they seem to have executed it to a team. Yeah, ek has gone there with the game plan, obviously limit the supply to Mitrovic, but at the same time, each individual did the job, didn't they? They it might be good players, but if, you don't, if, if good players don't get time, then that's the results. Yeah. Sheffield United done well. We were talking a lot about Alexander Mitrovic before the game, but there's only one name on everyone's lips from a Sheffield United point of view tonight, and that's Illiman and Jai. I mean, what a goal. We know he's a talented player, we know that he's got the skill, but did we see this coming from him? Well, yes. I mean, because he's he's done it before, hasn't he? he? He's he's just the king of the dribble. He can he can just keep going on these mazy runs, and he's got such quick feet. Uh, he just drives at people. He's got one track mind when he gets the ball. Um, I mean, he's just a fabulous, fabulous player. Um, we've seen it in flashes, you know, in the, in, the, in parts of the season, early in the season. So we know he's got it in him, and and, and this is going to do him a world of good. It's great that the managers had faith in him and brought him in this evening. Um, it's just just a great threat to have, you know, going forward. Great run, great finish, but Billy Sharp plays his part in the goal as well, doesn't he? The run he makes across to drag the defender even further away to open the gap. That's intelligence right there. Yeah, we it? said we said that in commentary. We picked up on that, and Billy Sharp made a great run. Uh, um, and Jai actually had quite a, a heavy touch at one stage, and the, because the defenders were retreating so quickly. Um, they didn't have the opportunity to turn around. If one of them had just realised that Njai had slightly lost control of the ball, he could have just maybe cleared it up. But Billy's run took a couple of the defenders away and just opened up the space. But to Njai's credit, he's just take, seen the opportunity and gone forward. What I really liked about it is the way he just didn't slash at the ball with his left foot. You know, he had the presence of mind and the confidence to just kind of stroke it into the net, you know, with his left foot. Beautiful goal. And to get a goal so early in the game, like this against high class opposition that's exactly what you're looking for rob isn't it in terms of a conf confidence boost yeah perfect start and i mean Ilion jai's uh, there's not many players in the championship can pick up balls and do that to uh, the league leaders at the time aren't you you're not you're not mm. running against anybody but at the same time he's got confidence now he'll, he'll gain confidence and be a real threat going in disciplined organized two really key ingredients for me watching that yeah. game tonight. <clears throat> Agree? Absolutely. 100%. What I'll take out of the game tonight is just the, our defensive um, solidity. You know, we, were, we all did our jobs at the back there. The three cent half. Robinson was a revelation, by yeah. the way. You know, winning headers, getting tackles in. What I like, to mention it on commentary again, is the way um, Robinson, Basham and Egan at times came out of the back three, came out of the back five and to close people down in midfield. And then the ball was popped off and they were immediately back in their shape. And the same with the midfield, you know, they shuttled across or didn't, across the pitch. They were, they were just trying to nick balls with their feet, just trying to get the foot in, just trying to break up play. I mean, all round the pitch, it was a really controlled, um, controlled, confident, you know, enthusiastic, mm. committed performance all round the pitch. You're right to mention Robinson because it can't be easy because let's be honest, he's not a first team regular as such and when you're watching from the sidelines and then you're thrown in, I guess it can be quite difficult to get up to speed and he's, he's performed so well yeah. in, a, in such a tough game like that. And, and he's given the, the manager food for thought. We're it? at the league leaders don't forget, yeah, exactly. you know, this, this, this is a tough gig tonight and he's performed admirably, you know. He, he, he had his moments early in the season and it's probably right to take him out the side, but you need players like that around in your squad. You know, we mentioned squads earlier, I mean, Robert, 
And it's, it's not just about the 11 on the pitch or, this, or the five subs, the regular subs all the time. You need players like Robinson to come in and, and stand up and do the job when required. Mm. And we're going to need all of them for the rest of the season. And at times it feels like more and more players are, are just starting to come out of their shells a bit more. We've, we've seen Elliman and Jai in the kind of runs that he goes on, Morgan Gibbs-White as well. But I'm thinking Jaden Bogle a couple of times tonight. Great runs, great feet, great skill, weaving in and out. I mean, he was superb at times tonight, Bogle, wasn't he? Yeah, you saw some of the, the runs from Bogle. If he had more of a consistent performance on that, then, then obviously he looks the Premiership player that you signed him to be. But we could have been sat here thinking of, of the 16 days didn't go in the favour of Sheffield United. But you saw there that obviously Aki's thoughts and process have come together tonight. Otherwise, uh, you don't go away to Craven Cottage and come away with three points. Do you think the shackles have come off for some of those players? Um, I think I think winning a few games brings confidence, doesn't it? We had a, we had a couple of good wins, and and you get into a winning a winning habit, so to speak. Same same with the defensive qualities. You know, we mentioned the clean sheets. All of a sudden, it becomes a habit, and we seem to be very difficult to beat. I mean, Rob knows all about Bogle. We had a conversation about him, you know, because of because of the Derby connections. And um, I, was, I must admit, I was worried about Bogle this evening because I thought he would, he would struggle defensively against uh, Cabano. But he, he kind of had him in his pocket for a lot of that game. He got a little bit of a run on him at the end and got booked. But in the first half especially, he was closing him down and, and not letting him get, get too much of a run and just getting his foot in and just, just stopping it at source. You know, and the same with Stevens on the other side. Mm. Uh, Wilson was a tricky character, but I thought both, both wing-backs... I thought the whole defence was superb, but both wing backs really did a really good job in, in stopping the stopping the threat from Fulham at source, as we've just kept mentioning. All right, there was a major scare at the end when Mitrovic hits the bar, but they they seem to be cutting out those silly mistakes that were costing them, especially late goals as well, Rob. That that's a huge shot on the arm, isn't it? That. Yeah, if you just said at the start of the game we're going to limit Fulham to two chances on the night and, Mitrov and they're both going to fall to Mitrovic, wouldn't you? You'd have took it because, yeah, he's in a bit of uh, space and that's probably why they've drew the last four, what you talk about, because those go in, 1-1, one, one, mm. they take it and they build on that and they've not lost again. But at the end of the day, it all belongs to like Sheffield United today because that, that was a solid performance. And what a position for the Blades to be in now, going into Boxing Day, three points off the top six and I'll be honest there was a, a stage this season where I thought they've given themselves far too much to do but how quickly it's changed Kevin absolutely I mean it's set up beautifully for Boxing Day now isn't it a full house here but it'd be a fantastic occasion and um, I just hope we don't shoot ourselves in the foot and do <laughs> the typical Chef United thing and you know and, and trip ourselves up but um, yeah we'll see but it gives us a chance and Long, long way to go yet. You know, it's, it's amazing. We seem to have experienced so much this season. You know, poor starts and low, losing games, change of manager, this, that and the other. It's par for the course with Sheffield United, isn't it? Something always happens. But we've still got it all to come second, second half of the season. It is a bit of a statement win though, isn't it? There'll be a few teams above now looking nervously over their shoulders. And the top teams, the top three in particular, are wobbling. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you saw tonight... That, that stadium, that Craven Cottage, that's for the league leaders with no atmosphere or anything. You start seeing the sort of going in the right direction. The Sheffield United fans here will turn this into what they believe now. They could have a real go at this. Oh, we're all going into Christmas with a real spring in our step. And of course, we are back in action on Boxing Day. Sheffield United at home to Preston North End. Not long to wait for that. But in the meantime, all that's left for me to do is wish you all a Merry Christmas. I'm sure Kevin and Rob will do the same. Come on, guys. Merry Christmas, Absolutely. Guys. Merry Christmas, one and all. We'll see you back here on Boxing Day from me, Paul Walker, and the rest of the team. Have a great one. We'll see you soon. Goodbye.